rising to my tribe, you know the vibe. All right, y'all, as y'all seen by the title below, we're going to be talking about um, how I'm feeling as far as my mental health and all of that. But before we get into the video, we're going to start with our deep breath like we do at the beginning of every video. If you're new to the channel, what's good with you? I appreciate you tapping in. If you are new to the channel, like everybody in the tribe already know, we start with a deep breath at the beginning of every video so we can align our body, mind, soul, and our energy. So y'all ready? Let's get it. Praise to the most high. All right, y'all. So today, my mental health. A lot of y'all been asking, how's my mental health? Um, like when I go live and all of that, when like in my DMs, um, especially because of the stuff that I just posted as far as my situation with my baby. So I'm going to talk about, I guess, like before my daughter was gone and right now, right? So before my baby was gone, I was in a place where it was good, bro. Like, it was real good. Like, I remember specifically on February 5th, I was sitting down. I was I was in this chair, matter of fact, like right up there upstairs. And I was talking to my aunt. My auntie, uh, she had FaceTime me or whatever, right? And I told her, I was like, yo, auntie, I just, I feel so good right now. Because if y'all been following my journey, y'all see what I went through as far as being homeless, as far as having a fight for my baby, as far as getting an apartment as far as getting a car again as far as um getting this house like all type of shit bro right so it was just so much shit that i had to go through and it was like i lost it all and i had to get everything all back so like while i was grinding while i was hustling and and working for me and you know working for my baby it was hard mentally and I had to ignore a lot of my emotions and a lot of my feelings because like, honestly, simply put, like my my goals and my, you feel me? I'm just put like that. Simply put, my goals didn't have, they don't have emotions, right? So it was like, when I'm feeling down, it's like my goal is still my goal. I gotta go, you feel what I'm saying? So back to my point, I was talking to my aunt and I was just like, yo, I feel so good. Like I got my baby, I'm in the house. We got money, we got money coming in. We got food in the refrigerator. We ain't gotta worry about, you know, where our next meal coming from. Like everything was good, bro. And then also, as y'all seen, um, right before my baby girl did leave, I started a self-love journey all over again. Like a, a whole different type of self-love journey where it was just me focusing on myself and me focusing on my daughter, right? I've been showing y'all so far and then it's like the table just flipped. You feel what I'm saying? But before that, regardless, I was in a place where it was like, I was getting good. You feel me? Like mentally, I was I was getting better. Like emotionally, I was getting better. And like I just explained, like I had all of these things that felt like they was gone for me, right? Like I was finally starting to feel peaceful again for the first time in years. Like real peaceful. Like I think that was the biggest thing as far as my mental health is I was starting to feel peace, bro. And I was just feeling good. And so I think that's where my mental health was. You feel me? Before everything all went down just now. Over the past two months, since my daughter been gone, I feel like I was fighting. And when I say I was fighting, like I was fighting to not slip into depression. I was fighting to not fall into depression. Simply because of the situation at hand and how my daughter's not here, how she was supposed to be back, and just the way the situation went down, right? So like I said over the past so like I said over the past two months it was like I was more so fighting to stay in a certain place rather than be in a certain place and just keep elevating. You feel what I'm saying? It felt like I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it, but so now compared to a couple months ago, it was like it was easy to just be in a certain place. It was easy to wake up and be happy. It was easy to wake up and feel peaceful, you feel me? Now with my daughter not here, it's like low key, I think I'd be anxious a little bit. And the reason I say that is because I feel like it's this feeling in my body, like when I go to sleep and when I wake up, of like feeling incomplete type shit. And it's also a feeling of like nervousness, but I'm not nervous about nothing. So that's why I just chalk it up to like slight anxiety. Um, so, you know, these days it's a little bit more challenging to stay positive and to just wake up and feel optimistic naturally. But 
I got to, right? Like, even if I don't, I got to put myself in that mindset, in that mind frame, because at the end of the day, I still got the goals that I have. So I got to take time to myself each and every day to deal with my emotions and tend to my emotions and dissect myself and my feelings, but then also put myself in a mental state where, all right, it's time to go. It's time to grind, it's time to get shit going. Even though I felt lazy, uh, I still did every single thing that I needed to do. I still completed everything that I needed to complete, right? So it was like, that's what I mean when I say, I can't, I can't go based off of my emotions. I can't go based off of my feelings. It's like the work that gotta be done every day, it gotta be done. And I can't stop when I'm tired. I gotta stop when it's done. So it's a little bit more challenging to take care of my mental, but I still gotta do it, you feel me? It's also a little bit more challenging because I have to, because of what I'm dealing with and because of the situation at hand with my baby, I gotta force myself to detach from her in all ways. Like, I'm still connected to her. I still got my connection with her. We still love each other. We still, all of that. But it's like, because of certain situ, because of certain circumstances and us not being able to talk as much as I would like to, it's like, I gotta force myself to detach from her. What's good, y'all? I had to come back and do a little voiceover because I couldn't get it out the way that I wanted to in the video. But basically, what I was trying to say was not detaching from my daughter as in I don't care, but detaching so that I can focus on doing what I need to do for both of us in order to get her back, as opposed to just acting purely off of emotions. I don't want to, but I have to because, you know, every time I call, it's really no answer. It's really no you know, no picking up or no text back and shit like that. So, you know, shit like that, it be hurting. But I think overall, I'm good at containing my emotions and analyzing my emotions to put myself and to place myself in a, in a state of being that is not really going to affect my everyday life. And more so I could just feel my way through everything that I'm that I'm growing through and, and not going through, you feel me? And then on top of that, like, as sad as it is to say, and as unfortunate as it is, this is not the first time I've been going through this shit, right? So this, this happened before. So I know how I got to handle myself in this situation, you feel me? But yeah, I, I think my mental health overall is good, it's stable, I'm strong. It's just shit that I got to deal with and, and shit that I gotta figure out every day as far as like, I guess how I feel. I think every day it's important to ask myself how do I feel and figure it out and just, you know, move based upon that. Hopefully that answered y'all question, man. Um, some of y'all been asking me and some of y'all been wondering. So hopefully that answered y'all question. Other than that though, if you enjoyed the vibe, make sure you subscribe, join the tribe, man. Peace and love, y'all. Peace.